on my raw review, I said that this Money in the Bank this year was going to be pretty interesting because of the way it's set up. Now, this is before they actually made the announcement about the Money in the Bank contract match, which is actually on WWE.com, and they actually made this, um, they, they made that statement as well on SmackDown this, this past Friday. But honestly, it's not so much about the Money in the Bank ladder match anymore. Because before, yes, I had a few gripes about them actually having a qualifier, but it made sense because they were actually allowing the title to change hands since Daniel Bryan had to forfeit it because of injury. So I kind of let that slide. But now they're actually deciding to do the contract match, and according to WWE.com, Triple H says there's not really any reason to actually have a qualifier here because it's a contract match, which in a way makes sense. But the one thing is is that Triple H might be making the call of who's going to be going in there. So I'm like, okay, if that's the case, if you're going to personally make your own choice of who's going to be in there, why don't you just stick to having a qualifier and just go on from there? Now, I am doing this video on Sunday, and nothing has really been set in stone yet, and I have not seen Raw, so I don't really know exactly what's going to happen. But this is pretty much what I believe might happen. There's a chance that they're not going to have any qualifying matches for... Uh, for this uh, the, the Money in the Bank contract match, and they're just going to have Triple H make the choice of who's going to be in there because he chose Seth Rollins. Now, the fact is that anybody can make, if it was a free-for-all and anybody can make a decision to be a part of the Money in the Bank ladder match, then anybody can just make that call without having to worry about having a, a qualifier and doing this and that, and there'll be no reason to even put Seth Rollins in there. But... Unfortunately, Seth Rollins has already been named to be the first qualifying participant in this match. So it seems like that the authority, once again, is going to have their own call of who's going to be in there. Now, my objection is this. I remember how when Money in the Bank actually got started, I think it's in 05. If I'm wrong, leave a comment in the comment section below. But... The thing is, is that when I remember there were either eight guys, six guys, or seven guys in the ring, and they always made their call on whether or not they're going to be a part of the Money in the Bank ladder match, and they usually are, and then they have feuds going on for whoever else is going to participate on the pay-per-view. Now, they're not really doing much of that anymore. The qualifying thing, yes, is what's interesting, but now nobody's necessarily making their call and stepping up to the plate and saying, I want to be in this match. And that's just, that's a bit of a problem with me. We had a lot of changes this year. And I know that you have to expect change from an entirely new era. But when it comes to this, this is the one thing that the mid cards has something to look forward to. Because for crying out loud, if you're not the biggest, if you don't look the strongest, and if you don't look the toughest, you won't have a shot in the dark of being champion ever. And especially if you're from a foreign country, at least that gives them a shot. So honestly, I'm really hoping that Triple H is not going to be the guy to make the main call and they actually do stick to the qualifying matches. Because let's be real here. If Triple H makes the call, it's kind of the same thing. So why keep it? I mean, you're better off just keeping it qualifying all the way through. He did the heel move and chose Seth Rollins to be a part of the, of the entire match. So continue to do qualifiers from there. Because if people can't make a stand and say that I want to be a part of this, and if Triple H don't like them, he'll cut them. And it's going to change the complete dynamic of the show. But, I don't know. I mean, well, what can you say? We got to try to do something new. Everything has changed since a lot of things are now completely gone and, 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 and things have kind of turned around. So I guess we really have to start doing some things different. Well, not really we, because I'm not really a part of WWE. But I know that... Triple H has to do something different to spice things up. But I don't know. I'm starting to have a little bit of reservations about this pay-per-view, but I really want to hear y'all's thoughts about this. Leave a comment in the comment section below or send me a video response. Now, like I said before, this is done on Sunday, and it's before Monday, so I don't know exactly how it's going to pan out. But even so, I'm not, in, I'm not particularly sure if this is going to be a really great pay-per-view. But I don't mind being wrong, and I've said that before. But y'all, like I said before, leave me your thoughts. It's Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace out, y'all. Later.